Can you really get a good quality wireless microphone for less than 30 bucks? Well, in today's video, we're gonna find out. What's up guys, Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel that teaches you how to succeed in the music business. Now, in case you're new here on this channel, we do uh, tips and tricks on music marketing, different strategy tips, and sometimes we do tutorials unboxings and gear reviews like we're doing in this video right here. So if you're interested in that type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Now, when Five Fine reached out to me and said, hey, we want to sponsor a video for your channel. We'd love for you to review our wireless microphone. I was like, okay, right? Now, I know Five Fine technology for being a budget option when it comes to microphones and recording equipment. Right. I actually own a Fifine mic that I use uh, with a podcast on another uh, endeavor I have going on with my wife. So I'm familiar with their work. I know that, you know, you may sacrifice some things in terms of build quality, but the sound is pretty solid and really unbeatable for the price. So I was like, bring it on, send it my way. I will certainly do an honest review of your product. So um, Fifine sent me or arranged for me to have a K025 wireless microphone. Now, a wireless microphone is definitely good for those of you guys who may be doing DJ gigs, you're on the go. Um, some people even may set it up as something that's part of a rig for uh, their camera, going out and about interviewing people. For me, I'll be using it when we bring guests onto a podcast um, or if I'm out doing mobile recording. Um, Fun tip, giving someone a wireless microphone and having them hold it as opposed to putting a microphone on a stand, it gets you way better sound quality because people generally will hold a microphone a lot closer to them than they would just sitting in front of it. So fun fact. But anyway, so Fifine sent me this K025 microphone, the wireless microphone. I'm excited to test it out. Um, and so before we get into the test, we're going to go ahead and get into some unboxing action and then we'll put it into action and see how it performs. So let's, uh, let's get to the unboxing. All right. So let's get some unboxing, <laughs> unboxing action going here. So probably could have done this part off camera, but we're here now. So take it out of the mailer. And here we go. Five fine. And then I ordered this off Amazon. This is just a windscreen wind protector. So basically it's going to uh it's a pop filter. So a lot of times with handheld mics you get that problem with um what are called plosives, right? And you get that you, you kinda hear the wind when you've got the um when you're making a P sound, sometimes a B sound, whatever. But now that we've got it here, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's out. Let's zoom in a little bit. And let's take a look at what we got. All right, so Fifine technology, wireless microphone. It's made for a PA system, for speakers. Um, so basically anything that's got a quarter inch jack you're gonna be able to plug into this, which is super dope. So of course I didn't bring anything to unbox this with, um, but you gotta take this little tape off here. So let's see if uh, fingernails will do the trick. Good thing I didn't clip them yet. All right, so there you go. So one side's off. And then the other. All right. All right, there you go. So we'll take this off. And what's inside the box? It's really snug there. All right, so in the box, you've got your user's guide instructions cool who cares about that let's lift this foam up and look at this microphone so right off the bat 
you know, you've got your pretty standard microphone, on off switch, a low battery indicator light, and um, it's really all you need, right? Um, I love that it's got the gray bottom, you know, it's plastic so that your antenna signal is not being interfered with. Overall, the build is nice. It feels, it definitely is plastic, but it, it has nice build quality. Obviously up top, the little speaker grill is certainly metal and that gives it some weight. This is gonna take AA batteries and it's supposed to come with a receiver. So let's open up the receiver. There you go. So you've got the receiver right here. Receiver takes AAA batteries. It's got this little antenna. So this is obviously where your signal range is going to come from. And um, pretty simple device. This quarter inch jack is going to plug straight into your um, audio interface or your uh, speaker, whatever you've got with a quarter inch jack. And then this, if you decided to buy a microphone flag, then you just put this here and it'll help hold that flag in place. Cool stuff. And I guess you could also kind of use this as a stand too. We'll see what the guide says about it. Ah, it's an anti-rolling protection ring. So you put this on the mic to keep it from just rolling around and rolling off. Very smart, very smart. So let's put this back together. I've actually got some batteries, but I don't have triple A's. I'm gonna have to reshoot this when I go grab some batteries and then we'll test it out. All right, I'm already annoyed by the threading. I hate screwing things in because you gotta line it up just right and then twist. You don't wanna strip it. Because this is plastic, I feel like it could get stripped easily. So if there's a negative, I guess that's it. But I mean, this mic was 25 bucks, right? Like there's, you don't get much better than that price wise. So let me also go ahead and open up this pop filter. The pop filter just came up in the suggestions on Amazon. So who knows if it's actually gonna fit. So we'll see. And we'll, we'll be able to make it work, but this is not an out of the box fit. Actually, we may not be able to make this work because I don't want to damage the microphone or, let's see. All right. So it's definitely a snug fit, but you kind of just pull it over there. And we'll test it with and without this pop filter, but I think the pop filter is going to be a must. Absolutely. Um, I've got a Fifine uh, mic that's actually wired. And um, it's right here, actually. So this is the wired version, their XLR mic. This one's made out of, um, this is definitely metal. Or it's got a metal feel to it. Yeah, this is definitely metal. And um, it basically, this one, I ordered a pop filter off Amazon, and the pop filter was way too big. But you can see the difference here. Fine, fine. I mean, the, the circuitry is great. The mic sounds good. Again, it's just those plosives that I'm worried about. Um, so this is the XLR mic. This is a wireless mic. So we're going to see what the differences are between them. I'm really excited about that. And um, all in all, I'm excited. Thanks again to Fine Fine for sponsoring this and sending this mic my way. So again, we're going to go ahead and get our supplies, get the battery, get everything we need, and we're going to go ahead and test this bad boy out. All right, you guys. So it has actually been a few weeks since I cracked open the Fifine K025 wireless microphone. And now that I've been able to spend some time with the microphone, I can give you my honest opinion on it. So first, let's kind of go through a quick overview of what we got, right? So we already did the unboxing. I'm not gonna rehash a bunch of it, but just know that we've got the microphone, right? Turn it on and there we go. There's the microphone. And then we've got this attachment. So this is the quarter inch jack that you are going to plug into your speaker, your mixer, or whatever device you're using to get your audio. Um, but typically it's a speaker or 
some sort of an audio mixer or interface. Um, it does have a little antenna that you pull out. Obviously, there's a transmitter or there's a on button for the transmitter. Now, if your microphone is paired, then you will get a red light on your transmitter. If not, um, it'll just stay green or it may flash orange, but I believe it's just red and green. Um, and that's really it. Now, one thing that's really misleading about this microphone, um, you'll see right here, and maybe you don't because it's not focused and this doesn't focus automatically, but the microphone says channel one. Fun fact, no matter what channel you set your microphone to, it's going to say channel one. Um, so it looks cool that it says channel one, but it's actually a pain to try to figure out which channel you're on if you actually change which frequency you use. Um, and, you know, if you guys know anything about wireless microphones, you know that this all works on radio waves. So depending on what frequency you're using, maybe there's so many too many other people using the same frequency. So you're going to want to switch frequencies so that you get aligned with less interference. So in order to set yours, you've actually got to press a little button that's inside here. And um, that's how you'll change the frequencies. I haven't done so because I'm like, how am I going to keep up with the frequencies here uh, versus on the transmitter here? And so, yeah, that's, um, that's not fun. That's not cool, right? So but that's the one that's one downside. The other negative attribute I would say overall is just the um the build quality. Now again, you're only spending 20 to 30 dollars on this microphone depending on when you get it. By the way, link to the microphone will be in the description of this video. But um I mean, overall I can't be upset at the build quality for 20 bucks, but when you compare it to its more expensive counterparts, um and you know you really do see that difference in quality. Now, depending on the application, you know why you have this microphone, that is what's going to determine a lot. So, right off the bat, I would not recommend this microphone for recording, just because you get a lot of noise. Um, I'll put an audio sample in here um, now. All right. So this is the audio with no editing, nothing. This is just the microphone and exactly how it sounds. Uh, so that way you can hear the, the hissing that comes with this microphone. So it's not necessarily great for recording. So remember I said I was going to try to use it for podcasting. It's a no for podcasting, but if you're a DJ, um, if you're a wedding DJ, and you don't want to be worried about people that are drunk, uh, giving the speeches at weddings and dropping your microphone, then this is a great option. They're going to be able to hear each other. And in that application, they're not going to be able to hear the hissing. There's already music playing on the speakers. Um, or they don't care about the pristine audio quality anyway. So this is going to be a great microphone for those situations. And, you know, maybe you want a really, like, raw, lo-fi sounding um, track, right? Maybe you're a rapper and you want to do like an 80s throwback. Maybe you'll use this microphone to record that. Um, but outside of that, I really don't see a lot of application for recording. But again, if you're a DJ, if you're doing live sound, um, if you are doing interviews out in a, at an event, right, where there's already a bunch of background noise, so the hiss won't be as noticeable, then yeah, I think this microphone is great. Now, the other thing is, you know, you can always um, edit this audio in post-production. So what I'll do is I'm going to use just a standard noise reduction plugin um, straight from Adobe Audition. I'm going to insert that right here. All right. And now this is um, an example of audio we're recording. Um, with the pre presets in Adobe Premiere for audio. So we've got a de-esser, we've got a compressor to uh, raise the overall level, and we've got a denoiser. So that should take away any noise from the air conditioning or anything like that. Um, so here's how it goes after just a little bit of post-production. So that way you can see the results of the audio without any sort of correction. 
and then you have the audio with correction. So if you're willing to do some work on the back end, you can make this sound a lot better than the cost. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, overall, what I recommend, yeah, I'd recommend it if you're a live show DJ um, and things like that. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it for recording unless you've got time and the know-how to fix things in post-production. So that's going to be it for my review of the Fifine K025 microphone. Um, do you, have you had this microphone? Let me know what you think of it in the description or description. Let me know what you think of it in the comments of the video, and I will see you in another video very soon. Peace.